Well, what's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us for another episode of Gastronomeria. And today's a very special episode because we haven't brought you Battle of the Beef in a while. And so here we are with another Battle of the Beef segment. And today is going to be different because today we have brand new Battle of the Beef judges along with me. The first one to my left, your right, is Talon. To my right. We have a very special guest coming all the way from the exact same exact town that we live in. He knows his food and he knows what tastes good. And he'll tell you, and he's honest. That is correct. Very correct. Very correct. Very mm -hmm. honest. Henry! Henry's here, everybody. What's up? So uh, guys, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, what's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's cracking? Huh? So guys. Let me explain what's going on. Today's Battle of the Beef is going to be very different because we've all had tenderloin, filet mignon, right? Filet mignon steaks. Nice, not the most flavorful cut, but very tender. Then we have the complete opposite of that, which is an A5. So we have choice and we have the highest grade, but we did something special this time. We tried to recreate Wagyu using the choice. Are you mocking me? Maybe. <laughs> so here's what we've done. We've got three of the same exact cuts of meat. Two of them are choice. One of them is A5 Wagyu. And one we're gonna dry age full of butter. Follow along with me. If I took a choice cut filet and injected the hell out of it with butter and then dry aged it, would that butter seep into the fibers of the meat and then kind of make a butter goo steak? We're about to find out if this experiment works and we're gonna compare it to a regular choice that has not been injected with butter and a true A5 Wagyu. Guys, that's what I call butter. <laughs> this is a lot of freaking butter, man, in comparison to my hand. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and melt some butter. Whoa. All right, now we want a lot of butter because remember, we are gonna be injecting this whole freaking thing. Here, here, and then dry aging, okay? I am so, I think we've got enough butter, both inside and outside. Now, we're gonna try age this for 60 days. These butter goos came out so much better than I thought they would. Look at the deep color and look at the striations, the marbleization of butter. It actually looks like Wagyu. Let's salt them. It comes out a lot, so don't go crazy. Before I do this, we are going to insert our thermometer probes all the way to the center and we're going to cook it to 135. And I don't want it to be too crusty. Let's turn it down because you don't want, you don't want like a black crust on the outside and still raw on the inside, you know, and this one's going to cook super fast. I already know it. I've cooked plenty of dry age, but never a but we call this butter goo, by the way, butter goo. So today's Battle of the Beef is butter goo versus Wagyu. Hmm. Versus the other one. A homemade experiment. All right, guys, so we are gonna do a little flip rooney I'm afraid this part might touch because it's bent in that direction. So let's see what we got. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and <laughs> I gotta get down here so we can see the steaks and all of our faces at once. No, you don't have to do what I do. <laughs> You're the guest of honor here today. Which one should we try for first? Should we try the regular one first just to get a feel of what regular, gives a reminder of what regular tastes like? Yeah. Let's remind ourselves the goodness of a filet mignon. Here we go. Mm. 
That's like really good. Yeah. Fillets are known not to be the most flavorful, beefiest part of the cow. Like um, brisket, you know what I mean? Or even ribeye. But this is delicious. So, now we should probably go jump the ocean, the Pacific Ocean to Japan, and try the Wagyu. Yes. You ready, guys? Yes. All right. So you use your fork, and you just go ahead and grab it. Wagyu, A5, Le Mignon. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so creamy and delicious, it just melts mm. in your mouth like butter. It's well, guys, you've seen us eat a lot of Wagyu on the show. This is no different. This is, this is amazing. It's rich. Um, you don't probably need teeth to eat it. <laughs> Because it's no, we're not chewy really at all. But okay, so it's got more flavor in it. It's got you know what umami is. Do you know what umami is? What's umami? It's those little green things. It's the little green things. Umami. Okay, so you have sweet, sour, savory, salty, tangy. No, that's sour, isn't it? Smoky. Umami is like the sixth flavor. And it's it's like it's found in like earthy stuff like mushrooms and things like that. But it makes you crazy to want more. MSG is straight umami flavor. So we're known for that here. And if you dry aged beef, it brings out umami. So let's grab. Our butter goo, which we coined the term butter goo. Did you get one of these in the middle? Um, this one? Yeah, you I, did. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So now, this is going to be a lot different. It's probably going to be chewier, but let's taste the flavor and see what we think. Mm. Now, do you taste little notes of like blue cheese? And um, have you ever heard of blue cheese? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. It's like, um, have you, have you had salamis? Yeah. Well, you have like, like meats that have been hanging there to cure and dry. They develop flavor from the spores, like a cheese, like an aged cheese. And I could taste it here. I tasted a lot of blue cheese in here. So I think the umami flavor has definitely surpassed the umami flavor of the um, Wagyu. However, you know, and the fat is there. The butter is like, wow. So I love all the complexity of the flavor here. It's not for everybody. So I want to hear it, first of all, from you, Mr. Town. Which one do you like best out of all three? Because this is a battle. We need to crown a winner. I'm just going to give it to you straight here. Uh, out of these two, I would definitely choose the Wagyu just because it's your more typical, like, meaty, delicious beef. But out of all three, honestly, I would choose that because, like, you can't just eat that every single day nonstop. Like, that, you'd get so tired of it. I agree. But with this steak, it's just, like, something that you really can't get tired of. Oh, I could eat that for breakfast tomorrow, lunch, dinner. Yeah, exactly. Henry, what about you? Which was your favorite out of all mm -hmm. three and why? I like more juicy stuff. Mm hmm So... Um, I choose this one. The Wagyu. Yeah. Good so, man. Good man. You know what, guys? I like juicy stuff. Um, I like them all for their own thing, too. I, I mean, if I had to say, do I, what's my favorite? Yeah. It's the Wagyu. It's amazing. It's just, it's like butter. And it's got butter with a crust, with a meaty crust. Um, this one is like, just once in a while. You know, you'll crave something like this, but you really got to have a flavor for it. And I wouldn't start 60 days. I would start maybe like 25 days and work my way up. And this, just a good old filet mignon steak, you know? If you're bored, we're gonna get into this. Talon, Henry, thank you so much for this battle to beat. I think we have a winner. I think, honestly, I should be saying thank you to you because this was delicious. <sighs> Guys, our winner of today's Battle of the Beef, Battle of the Filet Mignons, is... Wagyu! Wow, yeah! Woo! We got a new title champ! 
Thank you so much. We love y'all. Please, please subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. And I just, I'm just so glad you're joining us for this journey. You're a part of us. Consider this channel a part of you. We love you. We're, we're kin. We're kinfolk. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just yapping on and on and on. <laughs> but this is all getting cut out anyway. Henry, do you have any parting words to the people of the world? Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks thank for you. Watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. And um, I know this is really hard, but we do this delicious taste testing for you. Maybe some for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. And bye! bye.